एल एल एम्स और लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड जनरेट ह्यूमन लाइक टेक्स्ट दीज मॉडल्स आर ट्रेनड ऑन ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा एंड कैन परफॉर्म अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ लैंग्वेज रिलेटेड टास्क सच एज ट्रांसलेशन समराइजेशन एंड कॉन्वर्जेशन With LLMs becoming mainstream, one library that has gained a lot of traction in the open source community is Langchain. Langchain is basically a framework designed to streamline the integration of large language models with external data. Langchain basically enables developers to create user-friendly applications that leverage the latest advancements in natural language processing. In this video I'll try to explain the issues of LLMs that are being solved by Langchain which is the reason why it's gaining so much of popularity Imagine you're creating a text summarization solution using ChatGPT There are two alternatives that are available One for people who are not developers they can use the browser share the request to OpenAI and OpenAI will give you the result The second option is for developers So for developers they can basically make use of the OpenAI's API pass in the input as form of a query to the API and get a response from the OpenAI server Now if you consider this process this process is fairly standard for one large language model that is currently ChatGPT based GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 The issue now arises when you start using multiple large language models Open source large language models such as Bloom Palm and gpt neo how do you start utilizing the advantages of different large language models and then create your large language model based solution it is here that langchain comes into picture langchain basically abstracts all the api calls and creates a generic interface to a variety of different foundational models such as bloom palm gpt neo and chat gpt So this is one of the advantage of using Langchain as compared to the vanilla version of large language models. It shouldn't come as a surprise to you that large language models don't have memory. If you're planning to create application like chatbots using large language models, it is extremely essential that the chatbots that you create remember previous conversations. By default LLMs don't have any long term memory unless you input the chat history which is where langchain comes in very handy Here is a small example of how a large language model would behave without memory and with memory When I ask the final question without memory it doesn't remember my name Langchain abstracts out all the memory requirements that you have so that you can create chatbots with memory How do you get a response from a large language model? You feed in an input question or an input prompt, pass it through the large language model and get a response as the output. LLMs however possess uncanny APIs. Despite the expectation that inputting prompts in natural language would be intuitive, achieving the desired output from an LLM often requires significant adjustments to the prompt. This is an iterative process and is referred to as prompt engineering. Once a satisfactory prompt is obtained, it can serve as a useful template for other applications. To facilitate this, Langchain offers a feature called as prompt templates. Prompt templates enable the construction of prompts using various components. Here is a simple example of how prompt templates can be useful. So if you look at the code you have a variable called as input template wherein you've defined the input prompt that you have to share to chat gpt or any other large language model you define a variable called as prompt and you call the prompt template next you pass in the input variable as well as the template and then you format the prompt by calling the dot format function and pass in the input variable that is there This process that you see right now that I followed is basically called as zero shot problem setting where you hope the large language model was basically trained on enough relevant data to provide a satisfactory response. We'll cover all of these fine details in the upcoming videos, but I wanted to give you a heads up in terms of how prompt templates are useful in Langchain. As you might have guessed by the name Langchain One of the most important features of Langchain as a library is the feature of creating chains. 
Chaining in LangChain simply describes the process of combining LLMs with other components to create an application. Some of the examples are combining LLMs with prompt templates, combining multiple large language models sequentially by taking the first LLM's output as the input for the second LLM. And this can be kind of extended for multiple LLMs together which is what I am showing here. This is a very powerful technique in which you can kind of create really long chains and create an entire end-to-end -end LLM based application that can carry out a really complex task. One of the major issues with LLMs are that they have been specifically trained for one duration or one snapshot of data. Data beyond that, they have very little knowledge about it, which is where agents come into picture. Suppose if you want the LLM to access a Wikipedia article. Suppose if you want the LLM to do a simple Google search and give out the latest results regarding say weather, dig out the latest news or something of that sort, then you can use Google search as an agent. Suppose you want to build a mathematically strong solution using LLMs, you can use a Wolfram Alpha based agent to create a really accurate solution. So Langchain gives you this ability of using agents that can go over and beyond the vanilla version of LLMs and give you a more accurate result as compared to the base version of the LLM. So just to sum up, Langchain is basically an open source library that enables anyone who can write code to build LLM powered applications. So in this video, I've tried to cover the basic aspects in the most simplest way possible. And in the upcoming videos, I'll take you through every aspect that I've covered in this video and I'll show you how simple the code becomes when you start using Langchain, the amazing library for large language models. Thank you for watching the video and please make it a point to subscribe to my channel for more such amazing videos. Thank you.